All right, everybody, I have to admit, this is not the angle that I wanted to start the video because my shop is still messy. I'm in the process of doing it. That's what this one's about. I have to make a new countertop because having granite made me look like an idiot. But when I set the camera up, I'm out here by myself, folks. My head was cut off like I'm fucking Ichabod Crane hanging out with Sleepy Hollow and doing all that shit, riding on the horse with the pumpkin on my head. I don't want to do that. I want to show you what a rip fence is. Now, I had no idea what a rip fence was. In fact, six months ago, I'm not even sure if I had ever heard the term rip fence. But a rip fence, the technical definition is, it's kind of like an MRE. You get a straight edge or something that goes along the length of a board that you want to cut so you can guide your little dick skinners that are guiding a little circular saw along and making a nice little straight cut we're going to see how to do that because in the past I have used nothing but like a 2x4 or a 2x6 as the length of the wood I want to cut. I did something different. I got this big bitch. I got this thing right here. Huge. People are roasting me. 96 inch level. I put all kinds of ruler on the side. It's straight. It's smooth so it doesn't catch. Whenever I run across there, I run my circular saw, as you'll see in a minute. It doesn't catch at all. It just goes smooth. There's no hiccups or anything like that. I'm going to add a little grease to it, and it'll be even better. But I think it's going to work out well. In fact, I know it is because I've already seen it. Now you're going to see it. Welcome back to another edition of a Long Time Tooley. So last time I told you I had this huge 96-inch long level. Many of you call me a fucking idiot, amongst other things. I'm not an idiot. I have a different type of brain. Maybe this will work. Maybe it won't. I haven't even tried it yet. I haven't even given it a go. So with this 96 inch level, I put a long ruler down the side that I'll show you here in just a minute. Long ruler all the way down, 96 inches. So that way I don't have to bring out my tape measure a million times, throw it on the ground, lose it like I always do. I have it marked off where I need it. This is called a rip fence, by the way. Um, if you don't have a table saw or if you have a small shop like me and you need to rip huge pieces of plywood, it can be a huge pain in the ass. One of the things to remember when you are doing a little bit of a rip fence is to add the distance from here, your guard, to your saw blade. This one is one and a half inches. Most are one and a half inches if you go this way, and I think it's three inches if you go that way. Check out your particular saw. You'll probably um, mess it up a million times. So I should probably ride it on this level so then I'll have something else. I just took some little clamps, clamped it down in the spot that I needed it, and that's it. This is an easy way to rip some plywood. Let's give it a go. Simple as that, straight, clean, off the line. I've had wood and things like that um, before that you've probably seen me use our rip fence on. This is better though, because I always have to wonder if I got the wood from Lowe's, is it exactly straight? Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. This will be straight forever. Well, until I bend it or something. But for the most part, this is gonna stay straight, easy, tabletop done, one clean rip, one clean cut, one clean take. That's it. Let me know in the comments if you think I'm a fucking idiot, if this will work long period, or if it won't. I think it will. Gotta admit, that went better than I thought. I thought maybe I'd have some hiccups along the way. I'm not sure I'll use it to measure, honestly. Like that part, good initiative, bad judgment by me. I think if I have to measure going sideways, but flipping it around when it's 96 inches, not going to be faster it's just not um but i do like the fact that it's a quick rip fence that i know i always have in my shop i know it's always straight and i know it's going to last me for a long time so in that case 50 bucks mission accomplished because before i had one of those pre-packaged ones it was super thin it snapped right away now i'm going to keep it up there that one's up there who knows how long it'll last but right away my initial impression actually good actually good. 